Hey guys, we're back with Everlasting Summer. Today we'll be getting the Slavia ending. Well, not today, but we'll be working on the Slavia route. So, um, we go to the bus stop and, um, and we see a figure. You know, I just kind of skipped that because why not? Follow the mysterious shadow rapidly, but still careful, careful, carefully. Um, I was moving from a path to path. And after a while, I found myself in the depths of a forest, finally losing sight of the stranger. Was it the cat girl? Maybe I should turn back? She's... Was it the cat girl or Slavia? Um... Oh, I saw you. Then I noticed Slavia. I've gotten this CG before. In the... What's it route? The Miku route. She's jumping up and fluttering, and tying the neckerchief and stretching your shirt up in the air. Oh, okay. The whole scene seemed much more fantastic than my own presence in the camp. Slavia looked like a spirit or in the forest, perhaps a nymph. She looked so natural, maybe like an ancient goddess more than a human being. I remember all the theological theories, which I read some time ago. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized something. What if one of the Semyons from the Semyon route... I'm assuming they're Semyons, right? Like, did it confirm that they wore Semyons? Like, I mean, I'm just assuming they wore it, but... I forget if... Anyways, um, what if one of them was the me and me goes out? Did it ever give him a name? I don't think it did. Um, I remember all the fears which I had some time ago. This reminded me of pantheonism, the idea that God is in all that is and everything that we see around. What if it were not the aliens of the time warps, but divine prov providence that brought me here? Indeed, Slavia mentions that she loves nature. So it turns out that she's an enigma, isn't she? Yet! She's now, I'm not gonna say Nien after every line, in memory of Sasha, who got, wait no, Slavia got her, it's not Sasha, never mind. And all the, Oh, oh, we're back, oh, um, I, I, I just realized that, you know, the H scene's over, there's an H scene, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, although I don't really think you could call it an H scene, I'm gonna censor it anyways, though it somehow seems to be innocent enough, it seems to have anything to do with the presence of this world, it was just innocent, there's nothing worth beeping, yeah, you know, I was just kinda there, so let me stop and turn around to me, don't you think I've noticed you, no, I was a bit confused, so I put on a mask of visible calmness. How long ago? Not sure, it's not very good. It was like five minutes ago, maybe? So even there at the lake? Which lake are you talking about? Well, Slavery seemed sincerely surprised, so I couldn't figure out whether she's pretending that nothing has happened or... Well, never mind. I made up my mind to be a, like a gentleman. As gentle as it was possible in the circumstances, and said nothing. Alright, night's back really easy. She agreed. What a beautiful night. Slavery took a seat at the bench and looked up at the sky. I guess such nights are frequent good here. Well, probably. Why so uncertain? I don't know. Just deep in thoughts. Thinking about what? Also, I have a question. Um, this is something I probably won't find out during the recordings, but if during like the campfire scene, you know, like, you know, where you're at the hike, can you like attempt to go on to Alyssa and Lena's conversation if you don't have six points in their route? Likewise with um, Oyana and Safia. If you don't, we'll just make you remain seating, because that's the only way that makes sense to me. Thinking about what, what she stared at me, but she was looking at something on my face. And then I got back to start gazing. Now that I fall into such a mood at night, during the day I'm wrapped up in the work with no time to realize. For all night, it's so quiet here. But I've not been for the crickets and the night birds. One would feel like being face to face with the universe. The universe. Oh hey. For some reason, I didn't get to do sloppy as someone who talked about such manners. As for me, it's even too quiet here. Is it? <laughs> it's really anything wrong with that? Well, alright. She started up partially and fixed the skirt. It's time to go to bed. It, it's exactly the same. Good night. I watched her walking away. Our talking might have been about nothing, but it seemed to me like it had some deep and secret meaning which could only which could only appear only here. Only next to Sabia. Seems like everything in my situation, such moments of peace and serenity, are absolutely necessary to make me feel united with the universe. I'd even say vital, especially now. Oh wow, the universe, oh wow. Not sure how much time I spent sitting there, but after a little while, I started to get sleepy. 
Okay, mm -hmm. skip time, skip -a The next lobby scene will be at the dance. Um, I, I've already, well, I have gotten it, I haven't read it, but it was during the Miku route. I, you know, I just kind of clicked through it. Uh, it doesn't say, um, Olga. I'm using a guy, by the way, if you don't know. Um, better keep looking for answers. Um, I'd rather help Slavia. Um, I think I've already read this scene before, so I'll just skip it. I, I think, you know, I just help Slavia's clean. Nothing special. Hey, and I ran away in this. Yes. See ya. What do I want to be? Ya. Yes, and then, hey, Slavia. Basically, Slavia came and got me and made me do work at the library. We've done that scene before. I think that was during our first um, playthrough of it. Okay. And it's. Um, I'm gonna. Okay, there we go. We danced for a few minutes. Um, her chest heaved faster and face blushed more and more. Zombie stared into my eyes. Oh, hey. I tried to look away at the dancing pioneers or at my feet or something else. It was a strange feeling. My whole body shuddered from time to it, but it was a pleasant shudder. Without any hint of uneasiness or shame, my mind became miraculously calm. I realized that I don't want to let this girl go, and I'm ready to dance with her forever. Forever! Happy next door was. Next door was. Oh, stop for a moment. It's weird. Maybe I've seen things, but I couldn't get rid of the thought that this insolent girl shouldn't have hinted, hinted something. What, what is she hinting at? Yeah. But a friendly face, but she was already gone. Something's wrong? Safi asked quietly. Everything's fine. I mean, everything's great. I mean, everything's perfect. I mean, um... I wasn't stuttering yet, but I was about to. You're so tense. A little. I said honestly. Boys don't like to dance. But that's not true. I can do a pretty good headbang. Yes, so. She didn't say anything. Just smiled. The song eventually ended. I was still holding Savi, but it easily slipped away from my grasp. Okay. Thank, thank you for the dance. I should thank you. I just stood up and stared at her for some time. Next Shrek started playing. One more? No, I think I'll ask for a little. I left the square. To the beach. Why did I end up here? Um, was I running away? It looked exactly like running away. The dance was nice and Savi was pleased. But something wasn't right. It felt restlessness. Just thinking about the disco. You know, this is the 80s. Disco, that's the thing. Maybe I just lost the grasp of the situation and got emotional? Oh, I actually... I... I think Disco is a mistranslation. Probably. Because... I mean, I'm not... I wasn't born in the... When was Disco? Like, the... Main... Like, I guess... Is it mainstream or cliche? One of the two Disco era, I guess you could say? I, I wasn't alive then. I didn't even exist, so I don't know. Yes, no. I don't know what a disco is. All I know is that like a ball is that like is that some, right? And like roller skates. I don't know. That really happens. I always try to behave and calmly assess the situation. But how did I manage this time? I sat on the sand and looked at the river. The full moon was hanging far above the water. Memories overwhelmed me. I'm six years old. Me and my father are fishing. I cast my fishing guide clumsily. One minute, two, ten. No fish to bite. Meanwhile, my father gets one after another. How do you do that? He explains. But now I don't remember the details. I'm nine years old. Dark, incomplete building over a country house full of ghosts, vampires, or just topos. Unstable wooden ladder to the second floor, hanging above the abyss, the hole to the basement. I'm scared, but I still climb up and down this ladder every day. A brick fell on my foot, and I lost a tone now. Ow. 12 years old. My first victory in a computer game tournament. Yay! To play a console fighting game. Imaginary audience applauds to my astonishing victory. I'm 15 years old. Except for a wonderful girl's my hero. And a wonderful shot with, from 30 meters right in the upper corner. 17. First love. Transient vision. A shadow slipping away and vanishing into the city haze. Can't catch her among the buildings and corners. The following memories become more more clear and that's far less favorite. So we actually learned a few things about Samyan. Yay! The images of my childhood and youth that I saw were unclear. They lacked details and I couldn't quite see the faces of the people. Sometimes they just looked like canvas covered with spilled paint. But the filling of those hazy images was so much warmer than those of recent memory. 
There you are. Hey. Oh yeah, this is that CG. This I thought this one looked cool, odd. It's not really over me. I didn't get afraid. Why did you leave so soon? Just felt like being alone for a bit. It's like I hid in a shell. There's no outer world. Me and my twins responded to all of its signals. There are always three of them. The deaf, the mute, and the blind. Oh, like the monkeys. Isn't it just beautiful here? Stop and look at the river. Yeah, it is. Albert, one more dance. No thanks, I'm fine. Deep inside, I knew I shouldn't be sharp with this without me. Or it's like a puppet on a string. I'm forced to say things I'd rather never say under such circumstances. What are you thinking about? Nothing. You can't think about nothing. Actually, I can. And uh, my mind hurts when I do. Like, uh, um, think about it. Technically speaking, should it nothing exist in the universe? Because, like, I, I think the idea that anything exists at all is weird. But then, by nothing existing, that means that something exists. Because nothing, like, you know? And then, like, like paradox, you know? <laughs> she parted her lips, but smiled right after that, letting me know that she's not offended. You always think about something, even if you don't know this. Maybe. So what are you thinking about now? Owls. The owl with the achievement! Of course! You see, the actual goal of this game is to get all the all the achievements. Ah, of course. So the first thing that came to my mind. But why aren't owls in his dream? She left. I don't know. Have you ever seen any owls? Of course I have. What a dumb question. Do you like them? Just a bird like any other. A night bird. It's not very specified. It's a night bird. My sister is actually terrified of owls. We used to um, live out in the country and she had like two horses, I think. You know, that's actually not the reason I'm named Horsey. I, I don't know why I'm named Horsey. Um, anyways, um, so at night time she was out in the barn. That was, like, the, there are technically two barns, like the, the good barn and the barn over there in the field. She was in the field one. And there was an owl, and, and she just ran back screaming. It, it was pretty funny. A night bird. A night bird. Imagine an owl. Uh, by the way, I should mention that she was... 17 at the time, so, you know, she, she's not my, no, she's not my little, you know. Imagine an owl, a little feathered box with the huge blinking eyes. Are you an owl? I am an owl. You know, there are likes and owls. Some likes to get up early and some like to sleep in. Her words brought me back to your house. Picture my dusty room full of dunk, mountain, uh, wait, what did I say? Full of junk, mountain of unwashed plates on the table, guitar running in the corner, necktie hanging from the lamp, and at the pinnacle of the soul, the heap of dirty socks under the bed. I was indeed an owl. Night was my time. Somehow I always managed to get up early in this game. I know. So what are you? An owl, I guess. I like to sleep. And I'm a lark. Is a lark a bird? Um, I've never heard of that. Um, it's a small ground dwelling songbird, typically with brown, streaky plumage, a crest, and a lugonated hand claws, and with a song that is delivered in flight. So it's just like, you know, a typical bird, I guess. But the earlier you get up, the more you can do during the day. There's really nothing urgent for me to be doing, so I don't see the difference between day and night. It's just more calm, quiet, quite quiet, and calm during the night. So I don't you have any problems that with your life? What do you mean? She wondered. You're always so joyful, so ready to help, so easy to start doing something. It's like nothing can upset you. Why? She laughed. I'm just an ordinary person. That's right. I'm just an ordinary, ordinary person in an ordinary place. You know, that actually reminds me of something. I've mentioned this before. I don't know if there's an ever lesson summer video. But in, I think it was 8th grade, we were told to read a story about a traumatic experience. I've never really had one. So I just had to make something up, like, I forget what I made up, but, um, you see, um, I've never had something that I would call a traumatic experience. Um, like, I can't really think of one. Um, yeah, I, I still can't think of one, like, You know, there's never really a time in my life where I was like, oh man, my life sucks, you know, I just play video games, eat food, go to sleep at an unreasonable hour. <laughs> That's right, just an ordinary person in an ordinary place. I sometimes think that I'm a stranger here. Don't you like the camp? 
I don't mean only with him. In the previous, I stumbled. Oh, and I also watched Japanese cartoons. Add that to the list. I shouldn't speak so frankly even with her. At home, too. I think that I'm not like the others. It's not my place to be. Oh, stop that. It's silly to think so. I was closing myself from the rest of the world just a moment ago, and now I opened my heart to this girl. What's happening to me? Oh, really? You wouldn't pay any attention to me under other, any other circumstances. I'm so different from you. I'm lazy, unsociable, and have no outstanding talents. I'd be the last person you would notice in a crowd of a large city. Though, even going out for me is scary. Samyon, you scare me. She looked at me seriously. I got embarrassed, but it didn't hurt my eyes. Am I wrong? Of course. You are you. There's no other person like you. Um, I, I, I beg to differ. <laughs> you should have some self-esteem self and patience, and you'll get anything. No doubt about it. I looked at this guy. If everything would be as simple as this is. It's not difficult at all. Let's start right now. Start what? Changing. Just like that? How are you imagining it? We should do something useful. For instance, well, she thought for a moment. Let's clean up the square. The disco is already finished. Just the two of us? Step. There is not much to do. First step is the most important. I can't argue that she's right on this point, but taking off the lighting for the trees is in the dark, moving heavy audio, audio equipment and sweeping, all of this wasn't on my to-do list. But I didn't know how to nicely if you say. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow? With everyone? Why put it off till tomorrow? Wouldn't it be wonderful to stand up at the clean square during the lineup? <laughs> if I go go to the lineup? First of all, I don't even like lineups in general. Hey, I understand you. But this is too much. It's not like I lost in your thoughts. Yes, looks like you're right. Even I can be right sometimes. But you can be wrong. Then, she stretched and yawn. Let's just sleep over then. So, this is the most character development Samyon has gotten yet. But, you know, that's nice. And in visual novels, you know, and, you know, other sources of media, like video games, Japanese cartoons, um, you know, just, you know, anything. I prefer to have a main character who actually has a personality rather than someone you can just see yourself in. I don't know if that's just me or... Because like a lot of people, you know, they prefer bland MC who, who could... who fits everyone, well, most people's personalities, but... Let's sip it over. Nice idea, but I wanted to talk more. Isn't it too early? Nope. Stop your objective critically. You'll sleep all... all the tomorrow, then. Tell me a bedtime story that I really not the first thing that kept on <laughs> Yeah, why? <laughs> I know only those things I read in books. You must know them too. Maybe I do. What a fail. Let's go. She stretched her hand to me. I'll stay here for a little while longer. You need to have some fresh air. You can go. Good night. Good night. Stop her hand away. I wanted to enjoy my total defeat first. I wanted to stand even a minute longer with her after that brilliant idea. Bedtime stories? What in the world? I do remember there's an age scene coming up. Wait, does that mean that? Oh yeah, I, there's an H scene earlier in this video. I'll have to remember that. Um, that's how the things are. You should I have a casual chat with a girl and it turns into a complete fail. I stared into the night sky. The stars with the small lights and the distant suns, distant suns blinking brightly as if flashing at me. I turned over and buried my face in the sand. After a moment, I realized that it was another one of my bright ideas. Just on the level with bedtime stories. <laughs> I started up spinning and went to the leader's cabin. You know, I, I don't think there's a worse thing you can do than putting... Your face in sand. My back, it's not my, only my back, my whole body. No wonder, I haven't had a bath in several days while well, it's really hot here during the daytime. So you sweat like a pig. I need to find soap and a towel. Yes, this is where it comes in. And I'm gonna cut it here because, you know, age scene. So, guys, see you guys next time. I'll, I'm gonna cut to after the age scene save, then, you know, we'll continue from there. See ya.